I mean, there's things you can do to your home to make it warmer before you introduce all those heaters and heat yeah. pumps, etc. Um, I think also too, just being aware of how much you use and sort of, yeah, cutting back on the things that aren't necessary. So dishwasher, do you have to use it? Maybe you could wash it up by hand, those sorts of things. One of the ones that I've um, got a few people to do um, over the years is if you've got an old fridge, replace it. Chances are it's running an old school um, compressor and it's not very efficient. It's going to be dusty. It's going to be probably you know running a bit low on the old gas. Um, and uh, modern fridges have better insulation. Um, you'd be surprised how quickly you pay off a new fridge in terms of the cost savings um, going forward. So basically anything that's really outside of its warranty or its, um, uh, if anybody's ever said, my lettuce froze in the back of this thing, um, that's a good sign that it's working too hard and um, it's ready to go. That literally has happened twice to me and I've been able to tell people, same thing happened to me, so it's time to replace. Um, I know like washing machines, a lot of us put on lots of small loads that so maybe do big loads, cold wash, Clothes yeah. come out just as clean. You don't need a hot wash. It's, um, you know, little things like that, I think, sort of all start adding up. We don't run, like, dryers if we don't have to, and yeah, um, it's not like we take really long showers or have any high-usage electrical appliances. Lay off the uh, clothes dryer. Those things are, um, are monsters when it comes to power consumption. It's like sitting in front of a real cosy heater, um, except you're not getting cosy, it's just your clothes getting singed. You know, again, if it's within your means, something like a heat pump or a condenser dryer is much more cost effective to run. And if you can afford it, get appliances that are more energy efficient so yeah. that when you are using them, you're using less. Um, you know, it's more of an investment up front, but it will cost you less going on. And then you've got the stopping drafts and all that around the house. There's always yeah, yeah, you know, just sealing stuff up, making yeah. it more airtight, keeping the heat in. Yeah, little things like that. Short I guess. showers, all that kind of stuff. Or in summer, just open your windows. Well, we could do the great Kiwi tip and say just you know put another jumper on. That's um, always one of the options. 